Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Tyler, for those of you who are new, and I am the founder of We Traveled Where. If you guys don't know, I just took a huge move and moved to Charleston, South Carolina, which is so crazy for me. First time seeing Charleston, we never visited before we moved, so we're here, we're brand new. We've been here since August, I wanna say now. One of my goals with being here is to try out as much food as physically possible because I know the food scene here is amazing and there's so many unique restaurants in Charleston to try. So my goal has been to try a new restaurant at least every single week, um, if not more than one a week, and never try the same restaurant twice. So those are just a few of like the things that I've been trying to do. It's been really fun and we've been doing it now since we moved here. We've tried a new restaurant every single weekend. The experience has just been so much fun that I figured I might as well start recording them and then share them with you guys so you can see kind of like the full feel of the restaurant, the food that we're eating because I don't feel like Instagram always does it justice. Welcome to YouTube. <laughs> we'll start with what we did this week. Okay, so. First off, we went to Trace Palmas. Heading to Trace Palmas. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're going to Trace Palmas Cafe, which is a Aussie place that we love right in Mount Pleasant. It, um, you have, your, Taylor has a mustache. He would like everybody to know, which is why he's petting his face. Stop. <laughs> He's trying to grow it out, and I told him he needs to shave it. I need Rogaine for my lip. It's awful. <laughs> it's like a caterpillar that's like trying to grow in, but like can't. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to Trace Palmas, which is a really yummy, like Aussie cafe right in Mount Pleasant. Um, I feel like the family, we have to figure out where the family is from, because when you walk in there, it feels like they are from Hawaii or something. They have like surfer magazines all over the walls. Um, and the aesthetic and vibe is very like Hawaii meets Venice beach kind of situation. Um, but it's, <laughs> but it's their entire, totally on the fly. yeah, it was fully, but their family is the one that, um, runs it. So I think the mom and the dad are in back usually and their daughter is up front. I'm actually. trying to drive here. <laughs> Can you stop? Like I'm trying to drive. And their daughter is the one usually in the front, like taking your orders, but um, take a left in the next, like right here. Oh my God. But yeah, anyways, it's delicious, so we're gonna take you and show you what we get. <laughs> the bowls are massive, so if you're going, get a small. Don't even try to get a large, because you do not need one. Um, and yeah delicious bowls everything there is good okay, i just need to show you this beauty uh, what about yours mm. so good it's massive and this is a small this yeah. is the small it's so huge it's crazy it's delicious though i got the bougie bowl um it has peanut butter because i'm bougie uh peanut butter raspberries bananas Blueberries, bee pollen, granola, and then like traditional acai. It's freaking bomb. Next is Rodney Scott's barbecue. Oh my gosh. For lunch today, we are going to Rodney Scott's barbecue, which we've been dying to try. What'd you call it? Rodney Scott's barbecue. I thought you said Robbie Scott's. No, I know the name of where we're going. We're going to Rodney Scott's Barbecue, which is supposed to be an amazing barbecue spot right here in Charleston. Um, apparently, it rivals Lewis's and the other great barbecue spots here. So, we're really pumped to try it. We got their, what are they known for again? The hog? The whole hog. They're known for a whole hog, um, which we we ordered that. A plate, yeah. We ordered like the plate. Um, and we, we got a couple different taster plates so we can try a couple different things, but really excited to try it. Normally there's like a line around the building for this place and we're going on a random Wednesday um, when it's raining. So we're hoping that the line isn't too big. We're pulling up to it now, which is why I'm looking and I think there's already a line. This is crazy. This place is already so packed, but really excited to try it. Body Scott's Barbecue was featured on Chef's Table, an Emmy-nominated Netflix series with a local chef. Who's that? Oh, my word. Is 
happy. All the sides. Look at that. I'm going for it. Go for it. First reaction. <laughs> really good. <laughs> We tried Zero George. Zero George is like probably one of the fancier restaurants in Charleston. It's a ta full tasting menu so you don't get to choose what you eat um, but every single dish was like I was honestly like mind blown. It was so good. So if you're looking to try it, highly, highly suggest. So what it is, is Zero George itself is a boutique hotel here in Charleston on George Street. Um, so it's like on the corner on this super quaint little street. And it the restaurant is like tucked in back, almost like in a cottage. It feels like you're in somebody's home, which is really fun. Um, the reception for the restaurant is actually in the kitchen, which is like when we walked up, we were so confused because we didn't realize you had to walk through the kitchen to actually get to the reception, which was fun. But once you sit down at your table, um, you're offered a wine pairing if you'd like it. So you can do a wine pairing. You can do either a regular wine pairing or a rare wine pairing, which is essentially like more unique wines to go with each of the dishes. Taylor and I opted out of that just because it's already a very pricey dinner to start with. Definitely suggest just trying the cocktails and then maybe just getting a glass or two yourself if you're not interested in doing like the massive wine pairing. I have either. It looks great though. Yeah. Dig in. But the dishes were out, like they were insane. We had to start with Oh my gosh, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna butcher all the names of what we had, but we had like an oyster with foamed horseradish on top. So it's like a horseradish foam. It's a lot of food, go hungry. You get a pasta dish, you get a fish dish, you get a meat dish, and then you get two desserts. So I'm not kidding when I say it's like a ton of food. I only know I will say about Zero George is everything was spectacular. We were filling a little bit. We wanted to go over the top because it was his birthday so we added truffle to one of the dishes. Um, truffle is an extra like $25 if you want to add it to one of the dishes and we thought why not let's do it. It's your birthday. Um, and it wasn't good which is crazy. I am a big truffle fan. I like truffle on everything. It's like one of my favorite additives to any kind of meal. I love truffle. And they added the truffle and it honestly, I don't know if their truffles are bad or what, but it literally had no taste. And if anybody's tried truffles, you know it's supposed to have like at least a really nice aroma of truffle. These had zero, these had nothing. You might as well have been eating foam. Um, so that is something I will say. My only nick against um, Zero George is the truffle wasn't good. It didn't have a flavor and it was not worth the $25 so if you're going keep that in mind other than that it was absolutely delicious and it was such a fun night so definitely suggest vintage coffee co is a super cute little coffee shop um right in mount pleasant it's based out of like a cottage i feel like everything in charleston is based out of a cottage but this is a true like house basically okay i got a cappuccino um and i got it with their homemade syrup so that's what they're probably known for i would say in terms of their coffees is they make all their syrups in-house all homemade i got the seasonal one it's pumpkin spice obviously and basic but it's so good so and i also get it with half sweet so I just asked them to do like less of the syrup because I don't like my coffee super sweet um but here we go Ooh, that's really good I haven't had this one before mm. it's like way it tastes way more like actual pumpkin less like fake pumpkin I guess you could say it, like it actually tastes like they took pumpkin puree and made it into a delicious coffee so there you go, Vintage Coffee Co. I got a cappuccino with their seasonal syrup. Okay, last but not least, that's for sure, we went to Two Blokes 
brewing in um, also in Mount Pleasant actually and it was so yummy so Taylor and I have loved going to breweries in Charleston because we really feel like all of the like really good food and like low-key food that people don't know about as much are at all the breweries because they all the breweries have um, food trucks that come every single day different food trucks at different times so you can go on the brewery's website and see who's catering that day we went and all of the beers are really good i tried two of their saisons um so and they were both delicious taylor really liked their blood orange hefeweizen i think it was and that was also really good um if you're more of like a dark beer kind of person and you like like a guinness style their milk stout was so yummy i got that to finish out the meal and it was delicious i also really like tasting a lot of different ones um so i get like four ounce pours that are like super small pours but you can try like three or four or five different beers and it's like not like you're drinking crazy amount which is really nice so that's what i got um and then the company that was catering yesterday um was bok choy boy which if you see them catering at any of the breweries make a point to go and this is i don't know if you can even see that <laughs> but anyways their food is like asian fusion it was so good i'm trying to figure out so it's a pop-up restaurant celebrating korean filipino japanese and macanese cuisines um and all of their food is just so good i love that they play with colors in a lot of their food so like their bao buns were like hot pink and um like all of their noodles had like pops of color in them and all of their food was just very like it made you want to eat it because it was just so beautiful but then you bit down and the flavors just like blew my mind so the bao buns were a spicy pork bao bun so good the sauce on top was a little bit sweet and then you bit into it and it was spicy so like the contrast of flavors were just like mind-blowing um and then we got their special so whatever they have for specials very much recommend trying it we got the arepas special with was filled with pork and pickles and like so much good stuff i was joking with taylor and i was like this tastes like a asian style chick-fil-a okay like an asian style chick-fil-a sandwich <laughs> but made with pork if any of that made sense because it had like the pickles in it and like the creamy sauce everything about it was just like so good and an arepa is made with corn so it was a corn based like bun per se oh it was delicious but that's it for this week's uh food tour of charleston and where we ate so i hope you guys enjoyed and we'll be back next week don't forget to like and subscribe to follow along happy eating That's the outway. We went and all of the beers are. <laughs> so, okay, so I got a. Oh my gosh, my brain. <laughs> God, this is now not fun. <laughs>